hi you guys welcome back to another video so as you saw from the thumbnail this is a mystery diamond painting that i'm going to share with you guys that i finished today i'm so happy you guys it's been a long time since i finished anything really i just haven't like i said in my last video i, I kind of lost my diamond painting mojo and it's still kind of not there it's sort of kind of back so i just took my time and worked at my leisure with this canvas and you guys this is my first square so i'm really excited i'm really proud of myself because i really stepped out the comfort zone to work on a square um diamond painting but um if you guys click on this video and you don't want to be spoiled by you know the reveal of this canvas thank you so much for watching the channel do not forget to like comment share my videos hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and i'll talk to you guys in my next video but if you are interested in seeing what it is then let's go ahead and see what it is so i did kit up in my craftmates lockables you guys and let me tell you guys a really quick really quick funny story i was working on this yesterday um and I had did something and I always keep one diamond painting color open at a time to avoid a catastrophe if something gets spilled but a whole row of these like right here this whole row fell out and um, everything stayed in place y'all so um, I love this container this is a lockable the only thing I don't really like about it though um, is that it kind of creates static on my drills. So I don't know if it does that for other people, but it kind of does that, you know, for mine. But that's besides the point. So this canvas here is from Diamond Art Club. And here it is, you guys. It is mystery number 17. And it is by Simona Candini. And it's Dark Fantasy. And here it is. Wow. I love this so so much you guys it's so shiny like even with my um my lights that I have like it's it's the shine is just like reflecting so much oh my gosh so I apologize if I'm like blinding anybody but isn't it so nice oh my god you guys so I did take notes on um everything and um, I love how this feels, you guys. So again, like I said, this is my first time working on square. So I'm used to rubbing my fingers across a round canvas. But across a square canvas, it feels so much better. And I actually like it. So this canvas is, like I said, it's from Diamond Art Club. It is a 22 by 22 inch or 56 by 56 centimeters. Again, the artist is Simone Candini. It's Mystery 17, Mystery Kit Dark Fantasy. This canvas had 38 colors. It had two ABs. And y'all know, hold on. I'm gonna show y'all these ABs. So it had 101, which was like a baby blue AB. And then it had 106, which is kind of like a cream colored AB. So just those two, so that's it. So um, I will say having those two ABs in this canvas was perfectly fine for me. With this being the dark canvas that it is, I do not think any more ABs would have been necessary because had it been anything else extra added, I think it would have been a little bit too much for um the whole canvas um in general i do want to say um this canvas is limited edition i do believe diamond art club's uh, mystery kits are all limited edition so this one i i think it's no longer available but um i do see this often floating around on like the d stash groups and stuff i have seen it on makari once before so if you're interested you can check out places like that um you know if you're like i said interested so, um, my first square, you guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I, I just, like, working on this was a totally different experience than working on a round. And I'm someone who's never, ever did a 
square canvas, place a drill on a square canvas or anything. So this being the first canvas that I worked on, I think it was awesome that it was a 56 by 56 centimeters. It was a smaller size, especially for DAC because they got big canvases. So this was a smaller size. So it was enough for me to practice for the first time and see if I like it. And um, it just was a really positive experience and I enjoyed so much on working on this canvas. I highly recommend you guys if you have not tried a mystery canvas to get yourself one and try it out because it's something that I wanted to really try and step out the comfort zone and I did and I'm really really happy that I did. Now this canvas um I didn't do an unboxing of it, but there's plenty of people on YouTube who do diamond painting videos that did unbox this. You could kind of see what this was under here. All of the background was completely white with the black um, grid lines, I believe. Um, I think the newer mystery kits are harder to see now, and they kind of have like orange uh, dots and stuff on it. I don't know. I don't have one of those. I just have this one. So this is the only one I can... Um, comment on but um i loved every minute of working on this it was awesome to like do rows of it and see it like reveal itself i think that is so awesome my husband and my son both love this canvas i will say this about me and how i am i did have to go look at spoilers on one of the facebook groups because I wanted to see what this was before I got it. I'm one of those people, if I buy a canvas, especially this was like $55, maybe like 60 with taxes and everything, I wanna make sure I'm gonna like it if I'm gonna work on it. So um, I went and spoiled myself, you guys, and looked at this image before I got it. And I'm actually gonna show you guys the image. And I'm hoping um, it shows up good and everything. Let me see, is this, oh yeah, this is it right here, so. There's the image, you guys. Look at it. Awesome. It looks so good. And I was kind of worried about what it was going to look like at first because it is a smaller size, but it came out great. I have no worries about this up close, far away. It looks great in camera is what you see like up close and everything. Now the dollhouse, like they're, like she's holding a doll here. There's some dolls here. Um, I think there's like a couple, like two dolls here and I think there's like a a pet down here like a like a dog or a cat or something down there now that's a little pixelated because you know you're within the dollhouse so that's small but um other than that I love everything I love the cat here the face expression is hilarious to me I love the little scary critter down here at the bottom the little creature in the back love all of that um this kit does have a good amount of color blocking line blocking and confetti for me with this being a square now with rounds my thought process is a little bit different but my thought process working on this one i prefer the color blocking like a big area of like one color i i loved it um when it started to become confetti and line blocking it just was beginning to be too much for me so i struggle in those areas but i prefer color blocking on a square canvas um the diamonds on here were pretty good coming from someone again I've never worked on squares so I noticed that the facets on these drills were all the same so I like that it's great I do have a canvas that I have in my stash that is a square the facets are different shapes so I'm wondering is that gonna like bother me working on it but for this one being a you know the drills on here were great um, I do think, however, the darker drills, like the blacks, the dark browns, um, the dark blues, those drills seem to be like smaller than the other drills. Like the lighter drills seem to be a decent size, but the AB drills seem like the perfect size for the, the, the grid on this canvas. I don't know if that makes sense. Like all the drills, the ABs, the dark colors, and the light colors all were like different sizes and because of that it left a lot of gapping um there's tons of gapping like everywhere you guys i don't know if i'm gonna get to where y'all can see it see you can see it right there you see all this gapping like because the diamonds were all 
different like sizes and this goes throughout the whole canvas it's all like that but um you don't really notice it unless you're like up in it and um you're only really up in the canvas if you're working on it so if i'm back i don't notice that so that's that's totally okay but it is a something i kind of like oh, i don't know if i like that or not um that's just how I feel about that. Um, the AB locations for all the ABs are here in the lightning bolts. And again, you guys, y'all see y'all see that gapping in there? Yeah, you can see, see? And then there's some areas where the gapping is humongous. But yeah, the lightning bolts had ABs. This moon right here at the bottom, her eyes, the cat's eyes. Um, there's a lamp here in this dollhouse so that lamp is giving you know a b then these polka dots in her little gown dress thing y'all this is so shiny there's a b's there and then there is a b's in the little critter's eyes down here at the bottom so not many a b's like i said great location for them didn't need any more um what else what else what else um so that's pretty much it looking at my notes yeah that's it so um i did have a little bit of trash y'all um i kind of tossed the trash and didn't realize until after so i don't have the trash to show you guys but i had a lot of drills with tabs on them and i will say with tabs i want to make sure that when i work with squares i just toss the tabs like in the trash because i found they're harder to like line up on the canvas if there's a tab hanging sometimes they don't want to like sit next to each other with rounds you can kind of get away with it but with squares i realize you can't um at all so yeah you can't so um i do want to ask myself two questions and answer them for you guys and i did um write them down for y'all so let me see um would i do a mystery diamond painting again absolutely yes i think um I would do one again from Diamond Art Club, but again, I'd have to go see the image and what it is before I get it. I would, however, prefer to work on something more colorful because these colors were muted and toned down and they weren't bad, but they were kind of boring at times when you're working with darker colors. So I would want something bright and fun, but yes, I would work on a mystery again. Um, would I do a square again? It was another question where I was like, I'm gonna ask myself this at the end of filming this video so yes i would do a square i have maybe no more than like eight squares in my stash i probably will not buy another one for a while um, unless it's something i really 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 like but um i would do a square again um i actually do like them so i do think i will always have a square kitted up maybe just one square at a time and do that but um i would definitely do it again but um this is my diamond painting you guys um yeah but actually what I think I'm gonna do real quick is step back so you guys can see the whole canvas and then we'll do the um ending of the video like that and there she is you guys oh I love her so much y'all know I just picked this painting straight up based off the dollhouse because I grew up in at a dollhouse and I was like it's giving me nostalgia so that's like the main reason I picked it but I love it. It doesn't like look scary to me or anything. I think it's a really cool painting and um, this is definitely a keep canvas for me. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. So like, comment, share you guys the video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.